peace, what's going on, y'all? This is Riggs Morales, Senior Director of A&R here at Shady Records. And uh, I'm about to log on, or actually already logged on to my PMP uh, Worldwide Dump. I'm about to check out some of the beats that some of y'all left over here. And um, it's L, because this is my, uh, this is the beat dump that I get on a regular. This is day-to-day -day stuff, and then uh, I'm about to log on to PMP. This is mandatory for me. This is something I do at least once a day. Uh, I have to get on here, especially when I'm in the mood to listen to good beats. The difference between this pile and this right here, with this pile, I have to scatter through through every single CD and make sure that, you know, of the 15 on here, maybe two or three will stand out. At least over here, I get the best of the best from these producers because I already filtered through, which, you know, believe me, it helps. You see what I'm saying? So, um... I'm about to go through these right now. This is the 50 dump, and uh, even though we closed the album probably about a couple of days ago, I have been listening to this and uh, to, to to this dump right here and trying to get an idea if there's anything on it that's special to send to to the homie Curtis. So um, I'm about to go through these right now because the interesting thing about it is that even if they didn't make it for that album, they're at least good enough to be considered for any of the other projects that we're working on. Feel me? So. Take a listen to some of these real quick. They reach a certain level where they feel that they don't have to do this kind of shit, but uh, there's been a bit of a reality check being served to a lot of established producers lately because everyone's making beats now. You know, there's somebody creeping right now who's going to be the next Dre who's selling that sound for cheaper. Uh, there's somebody who's the next Just Blaze selling that sound for cheaper. You know, and you know, it, it, this is a game where. You know, you you gotta find various ways of making money, and for producers, I think this is very beneficial because beyond them getting to me, they can also deal directly with customers. You know, so that's a beautiful option to have. I'll tell you that. One of the uh, one of the other interesting things about the PMP site is that I remember the first time I logged on here, and I noticed I saw a lot of people who I've been keeping on my radar but couldn't get in touch with for whatever reason. For example, Meech Wells. Meech Wells, you know, is one of is known for working with Snoop. He had laid Snoop on what I feel was one of Snoop's best albums, which was Top Dog. And um, knowing that he did a track on there that I really was in love with, I uh, you know kept him on my radar because you never know what he has. And nowadays, even West Coast producers aren't limited to just a West Coast sound. And Meech has a shitload of potential. Meech, I haven't spoken to or heard from in about three years. And here I pop up on PMP Worldwide and he's on there. So that's that's like a great look. It's like a Craigslist damn near for for mm -hmm. for producers. You got Scram Jones up here, Dangerous LLC's on here. Soul Diggers, Frequency, he's a little monster in the making. Or oh, Lab Ox. Oh, Lab Ox. This motherfucker got some shit. He's got some shit on the low. This motherfucker got some shit. My man New put me on him. And, uh, you know, this right here is a reflection of the potential of PMP because I can sit here and tell you that the kid lab box is going to have a very, very promising future. Yeah, right now, I'm working on the Bobby Creekwater album. And, uh, you know, I already sent the APB out to the good folks at PMP Worldwide that I'm looking for something unique, something different. Something up tempo, something with a groove. So when I log on there and I listen to some of the stuff, that's what I'm expecting. So right now we're at the Shady Records conference room. This is where the ideas get thrown around. This is where the meetings take place. This is where, you know, from here turns to here. Easy what I'm saying? So um, right now I find myself working on uh, Bobby Creekwater, 
who's got a mixtape out now, Anthem to the Streets 2. And we're also working on Cassius, the album. This is the EP, hitting stores May 22nd. Go cop that. Executive produced by the big man, Eminem. Uh, you got about seven songs on here, plus a bonus track. It's worth your money. And um, it's definitely somebody to be uh, on the lookout for. This is the future of the label right here. This is my concentration is on right now at, the, at this very moment. So when I log on and I look for beats and I'm looking for tracks, these are the two gentlemen that I'm that me myself along with the other A and R staff, Dart and Mark LaBelle, uh, are looking for stuff for. So uh, that's where we at right now. Like I tell most of the producers, especially the established ones, switching it up is the key to longevity. You know, you've seen all the great ones do it. Dr. Dre did it. He went through his chronic phase, then he went through his, no, for, I'm sorry, Dre did it. First he went through his NWA phase, then he went through his G-Funk day uh, phase, now he went through the sample free big sound phase, you know, um, Pharrell did it. At one point it felt like all their drums, you know, everybody started something, all their drums sound the same, then they switched it up working with Jay-Z. You know, Timbaland just recently, he went from the R&B days to the Missy crazy 100 mile an hour beat days to you know the sound that he has now. So that's the key to a lot of, you know, to, for a lot of producers to succeed, you need to switch it up. So while you can use most of the stuff that's out there as templates and as a blueprint towards your sound, you eventually want to develop your own sound. You see what I'm saying? And that's very important for a producer, especially coming up. Uh, right now, again, I'm working on the Bobby Creekwater album, working on the Cassius album, uh, if you get a chance, log on to pmpworldwide.com and, you know, dump a couple of tracks. Let me hear something. For Cassius, just bring it special. Keep in mind, producers, we have Dre and Eminem already, so we don't need that sound. You see what I'm saying? Come with something different. Go out. Listen to Cassius' stuff. Buy the album. Study him. See what he sounds good over. And feel free to submit. With Bobby Creeks, the same thing. Go out. Listen to some of the stuff that he's got out there on the internet and get an idea of what it is that, that you should be submitting. You know, take chances, give me something different. Don't give me something different that sounds like, you know, pots and pans being hit up against the wall. Give me something different that, you know, it ain't what everybody else is doing, but it won't go over people's heads as well. And we're dealing in an era now where everything sounds so the fucking same that if you even try to do something different, it's gonna work. Trust me on that. So. Bobby Creek Water, Cassius, Albums, 2007, and uh, shout out to PNP Worldwide. I look forward to hearing some of the some of them dumps you guys got going on.